Today we'll be talking about things that make you hungry faster, and also some things that don't make you get hungry faster. Now this can be a bit confusing, particularly if you play uh, different roguelikes. There are a lot of different hunger systems, different rules out there. Um, but hopefully we'll be clearing up some potential misconceptions about Adam's hunger system. So to start out with, we've uh, got the turn count here in the top right. It's currently turn 882. The character does not have anything uh, particularly special equipped, and we're going to see how long it takes uh, for her to become hungry. And there we go, uh, turn 902. So that's our baseline. So you can see if various things um, change that. To start off with, we're going to go with invisibility. So just being invisible, cast the invisibility spell on ourselves a couple of times. And once again, we got hungry on turn 902. So just being invisible does not have any impact on how fast you get hungry. I'd like to note this also applies for permanent invisibility. So if you have that from a pool or an invisible stalker corpse, I think there's also a statue that can give it to you. In any case, uh, permanent invisibility also does not make you get hungry faster. Now, invisibility items are a bit of a different story. So if we go ahead and, and equip a Cloak of Invisibility, we're getting hungry on turn 887 now, so quite a bit earlier. So invisibility items, in fact, make you a good deal hungrier. Uh, and interestingly enough, <laughs> It doesn't actually have anything to do with the item making you invisible. So for instance, if we were to equip a few invisibility items improperly, so wield, rings, invisibility, have a ring of invisibility, rings of invisibility in the missile slot. So you are actually getting hungry on turn 884. So not only do they not have to make you invisible to make you get hungry faster, it's also a stacking effect. So you have multiple invis items equipped. That is going to make you hungry even faster than a single invisibility item. So that about wraps things up for invisibility. Let's move on to another topic. This time we'll look at magical regeneration items. So throw on a couple rings of regeneration, some knives of endurance, crown of regeneration, braces of regeneration and uh, see if this makes us get hungry faster. Nope, once again, we got hungry on turn 902. So regen items do not make you get hungry faster. I guess I should also point out it doesn't make a difference if uh, we are injured first. So I'm gonna kick the air a few times so that we actually heal with the regeneration. And once again, we got hungry on turn 902, so even if regeneration items are working actively, they don't make you get hungry faster. Uh, now, moving on to things that do make you get hungry faster again. Probably the most common one would be Burden. So you can see this character is Burdened. And if we were, for instance, to wish for something heavy, like full plate armors, and go to Overburdened, we are getting hungry faster at turn 889. An interesting detail here, though, is there is a difference between moving around while you have a burden status, like burdened or strained, or very strained, uh, versus standing still. So we started out with this character burdened, but if we are going to just drop all items, go unburdened, and wait, we're actually getting hungry at the same turn but it's different if we uh, actually move around instead of waiting in place. So now we got hungry a bit earlier before turn 902. Now there are a number of other things that make you hungrier. Uh, we're not going to cover any more in this video. I think the regen and invis are the most common ones that people can get wrong. Uh, and hopefully that clears up any confusion uh, in those uh, departments.